In Miami today, 14 Kansas City men spent three hours before a federal grand jury investigating organized crime in Florida. Four of the men are alleged to be members of the Midwest Cosa Nostra, and authorities suspect they went to Miami to pick a new mafia leader. But all 14 say they went south only to play golf. ABC's Charles Murphy reports from Miami. The Kansas City men were certainly dressed for golf when they came before a federal grand jury in Miami, but because four of them are allegedly connected with the Cosa Nostra, authorities thought they may have come here for something more important than golf. One of the 14, Vito Labruzzo, said this was nonsense. We live in the same neighborhood, and they've always, just because it's a bunch of Italian boys, we get together, it's a mafia meeting. Over three guys getting together, it's a mafia meeting. I don't understand it. What are you going to do now after you appear up here? Are you going to go back well, and play golf we're, we're or what? Supposed or go have home? A spot. We're supposed to have a spot to tee off this afternoon. And if they mess up my golf game, that's another thing I want to sue them about. <laughs> because that's my reason to come down here, for playing golf. Since December, this building is housed a Justice Department task force investigating organized crime in Miami. Task force lawyers wouldn't say why they subpoenaed the Kansas City men. The men were subpoenaed when they arrived Saturday with their golf clubs. The man authorities were most interested in was Carl Savella, brother of a man alleged to be the Midwest Cosa Nostra chieftain. Savella and his friends then went to this Hollywood, Florida hotel and country club. But was this an innocent golfing holiday or something else? Savella wasn't saying anything when he came Why out of the courthouse. Why did they ask you to come up there for Did you ever find out? There was still time for a game of golf, but the grand jury had taken most of the fun out of this golfing holiday. Charles Murphy, ABC News, Miami.